All right, moving on to my brown hive. I had a queen in here um, that actually got hatched. They, they the queen themselves. And uh, last time I checked, about a week ago, she wasn't laying, so she didn't look like she went out and got mated. She was kind of small. So we'll take a look at that. We have a super on here just to give her more room. And we'll take a look and see. Hopefully she's laying. She went out and got mated. Who knows? She might not even be here. You never know with these beehives, my friends. You never know. It's always a surprise. Uh, there's only a few bees up here, so we're just gonna skip this super. Not much going on up here, to be honest. Few bees here and there. Doesn't look like they're doing much. Like I said, I just added this just just in case they need some room. Yeah, that's super light. Nothing going on. Nothing going on there. Here, on the other hand, there are things going on. We'll see what exactly. Let me just give them a little bit of smoke. Hopefully these are a little calmer than the blue hive. I just think they didn't like my gloves on the last one. Because once I changed the gloves, haven't had any issues. Alright. Let's take a look at this. Here we go. Gotta go super slow. If Queen is there, we don't want to kill her. So this frame is heavy. Yep, full of nectar, starting to cap this off. Let's take a look at this side. As you can see, I damaged that last time right here but they'll go ahead and fix that take all the honey out of there they're capping it off nicely so let's put that aside so we have room to work with these bees all right lots and lots of bees in here honestly come on ladies I don't think these bees are happy today. I don't know why not, it's a beautiful day. Come on now. All right, let's take a look at this. They're just working on this, trying to draw it out, full of nectar. See what's on this side. Same thing, I'm looking for that queen. I did mark her. So I'm hoping that queen is here somewhere. Or I see some eggs or something, anything pretty much. Alright. We'll get that out too. Not much on that frame going on. This stuff is sticky. Yeah, they're bumping me again. That means, boy, stay away from us. Lots of stuff. <laughs> Super heavy frame. Mostly nectar to be. Oh, there's the queen. Okay. And she looks much bigger, so I'm assuming she was mated. She's here. Which is a beautiful thing. She was hatched on June the 3rd. Look at that beauty. Okay. Okay lady, okay lady, let's be careful with that one. Just looking for some eggs, just to see if she's laying yet. Don't see anything yet. But this is mostly honey or nectar up top.
so we'll keep moving. I know I saw the queen, but I also want to see if she's laying. Since I have this open anyway. Stop it. Stop. Oh yeah, there's eggs. Lots of lots of eggs in this one. So this was a successful requeening by themselves. Oh yeah, this frame is full. End to end, all eggs. Beautiful pattern. Not one missed. Wow. Okay, lady. You are an amazing lady here. So, I think that's all we need to see here. As you can see, guys, um, this was gonna swarm. I split the queen, put in a blue hive, um, the original queen. Let this one replace its uh, the queen itself. They did, my queen went out. Um, when it got hatched, I marked her. And about 10 days later, now she's laying. So it took her 10 days to get, um, 10 days after she got hatched, I should say. Took her to go out, get mated, come back, start laying. She's laying like crazy, looks like, on these frames. Um, so is the other. That's why I kept her, because the other, the original queen was one of the best. So, this is beautiful. We're going to put this back together and leave them alone. Give them some time. We're going to put the super back on just in case they expand a little more. It does take a little bit of time um, once she starts laying, because they have to, it takes about 21 days for the brood to hatch. So about 21 days, this is going to be a lot of, I'm assuming a lot of, a lot more bees, <laughs> I should say. All right, so I'll go ahead put this back together let me know what you think um, if you had failures and successes like I said I just let them basically requeen themselves they did beautiful um, I couldn't be happier this was my first requeening by myself as a new beekeeper yes it worked <laughs> all right all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and set up and go on to the next hive not much we need to see here we just wanted to see some eggs